TV antenna amplifier, scam or necessity? We all want to get the strongest TV signal possible, and a TV antenna signal booster sounds like a beneficial piece of equipment. Go to buy an antenna and the store salesperson will likely suggest a signal amplifier in order to receive a strong signal. The odds are that you would be wasting your money if you were to buy an amplified indoor HD TV antenna since it will probably not meet your expectations regarding TV reception. Here's why. All broadcast towers are limited in power. The FCC limits the strength of digital transmissions to prevent interference with neighboring stations. Like radio signals, TV signals can only reach so far and because of this, there isn't anything that can be done on the receiving end to boost the power. The further the signal travels, the weaker it gets, until it can't go any further. There are several factors that determine signal strength at any given point along its path. Atmospheric conditions such as rain, lightning, snow, and high humidity can affect the signal strength. Physical obstacles can also make a difference. Obstacles include buildings, trees, mountains, high hills, and the walls of your building. There are really only two things that can be done to capture a weak signal as long as you are within range of the signal's viable distance. One way to avoid obstacles is to raise your antenna as high as possible, such as a rooftop antenna. The size of the antenna can make a difference as well. A larger antenna can gather more signal than a smaller one, but too big isn't always better either. Keep in mind that rooftop antennas are directional and need to be pointed in the direction of the broadcast towers and indoor antennas are usually omnidirectional and can receive a signal from all directions at the same time. A pre-amplifier might help you if you have a weak but otherwise usable signal at the antenna. Pre-amplifiers and distribution amplifiers are used to push the signal along a coax cable. Amplifiers do not and cannot pull more signal from a broadcast tower or an antenna. The preamp needs to be mounted near the antenna at the beginning of the coax run in order to get the best signal sent down the line. It also means you need to have a power source or an extension cord at the base of the antenna. The quality of the amplification will depend on the length of the cable run and the type of cable being used. If you are using a good quality cable and are less than 50 feet from the antenna to the TV, you probably won't notice any benefit from an amplifier. Of course, the amplifier is also adding more noise to the signal, which can disrupt the signal at the TV end. Installing an amplified indoor HD TV antenna is probably a waste of money. These digital antennas have a cord length of just a few feet, and you will not benefit from a TV signal amplifier at all. You could try a larger antenna surface, and since it's an indoor antenna, you can move its position whenever you need to. There are times when a storm might cut off one of your channels, but if you move the antenna, sometimes as little as a few inches, the signal will come back on. This is something you cannot easily do with an outdoor or attic antenna unless you attach an electric rotor to it, which requires a very long power cord. Of course, if you attach an antenna amplifier to it, you could use the same power cord. Even if you go through all the effort to add a TV antenna booster, there is no guarantee that it will work. There may be channels you hope to receive now, but find out that they still don't come in. If so, it is because the channel broadcast power is just too low to reach your location and there isn't anything you can do about it without moving closer. Save your money and time and leave the amplifiers and boosters on the store shelf. Your best bet is to try an indoor antenna, and that's above ground, not in the basement, to check your reception. If you are 30 miles or closer to the broadcast towers, you should be able to receive their signals. If you are between 30 and 50 miles away, you might be limited to the number of channels you can receive, depending on if you are in a valley or on a hill.